Imagine a world where your to-do list or productivity system not only helps you get things done, but also helps you manage itself. Throughout this video, we'll be exploring the use of an automation workflow tool called Zapier to help us create a seamless task tracking experience in Taskade. Whether you're a solo entrepreneur, a project manager, or just someone striving for peak productivity, this can really revolutionize the way you conquer your tasks. Ready to take your task tracking capabilities to the next level? Let's get started. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, we'll be using two tools for today's tutorial. The first is Taskade, which is a collaboration and productivity platform that allows you to create and manage tasks, projects, and nodes in a flexible way. I personally use Taskade as my main to-do list application. If you're not familiar with Taskade, I have a few other videos on my channel about it, so feel free to check them out. We will be combining Taskade with Zapier. In simple terms, Zapier is like a digital assistant for your applications. It helps different applications you use every day, like Slack and Google Calendar, and in this case, Taskade, talk to each other. You can set up these things called SAPs, which are automated workflows to make your apps work together seamlessly. One example of this automation would be to have Zapier create a task in Taskade every time you schedule an event in your calendar which is the example we will be reviewing today. Let's now jump into Taskade and Zapier and begin setting up our automation. As I mentioned, we will be setting up an automation today so that every time I create a calendar event on Google Calendar, a task will be automatically created for that event in Taskade. To do that, we first need to set up Taskade. There's nothing customized or um, complex in particular that needs to be set up in Taskade, but we just want to know and make sure we have a place where we can store those tasks. In my case, I have created a personal folder. Within that personal folder, I created an inbox project. And within that inbox project, I created a section called from Google Calendar. As you can see, I already have here an event that was automatically added actually from my Google Calendar called cart maintenance happening on January 23rd between 8 and 9 a.m. So I know that all my tasks will be stored in this subsection inside the inbox project inside the personal folder. So you don't need to follow this exact same structure, but just you just need to know and have a project created where you can store your tasks. So now let's jump over to Zapier and begin creating this automation. So head on over to zapier.com and create yourself a free account. Once you do that, log in to the application and you'll be taken to the home screen or the dashboard of your Zapier account. As you can see, we have many different options here, but for now, you can ignore these and go ahead and click on Create a Zap to begin creating our automation. Once we click on Create a Zap, we are taken to the Zap Creation workspace where we can see that in order to successfully create our first SAP, we need to complete two things. We need a trigger and an action. You can think of these as our whens and thens. So when something happens, then do this. So in our example, our when would be when we create a new calendar event on Google Calendar, then create a new task in Taskade. So let's start Let's start configuring our trigger first. To do, the, to do that, click on the trigger option and you'll get a menu where we need to choose what application is gonna set up or set off this trigger. For us, it's gonna be Google Calendar. So I'm gonna select that. As you can see here on the right side, we get our trigger menu where we are required to choose an event. So what's actually going to start this automation? For us, it's gonna be the new event. So as you can see, Zapier tells you that this will trigger when a new event is created on Google Calendar. You can read the other options you have, such as new calendar, event started, event ended, etc. So these are the different events that can trigger this automation. But for now, we'll just stick to new event so that every time we create a new event in, on Google Calendar, it will trigger this automation. 
So I'm going to click on continue. Here I am asked to sign in into the Google Calendar account. Um, for me, I have signed in into my personal Google Calendar account so that, that my personal calendar is actually connected to this automation and all my personal events are sent to Taskade automatically. Well, obviously, you can choose whatever Google account you want to log in into and connect to Zapier. So once you do that, go ahead and click on continue. And then we're going to finish uh, setting up our trigger by selecting which calendar we want Zapier to take a look at uh, when starting this automation. So for me, it's going to be my personal calendar, which is just the average fellow at gmail.com calendar. I'm going to click on continue. And I am asked if I want to test this trigger. I'm going to go ahead and test it. And as you can see, it found an event. And you'll see that it pulls a lot of data. But here on the summary, you can see that it's my car maintenance event. If I go to my Google Calendar, I can see that on January 23rd, 23rd I have a car maintenance event from 2 to 3 p.m. So Zapier pulled the information correctly. And this trigger is working. I'm going to select continue with the selected record and then I'm taken into the actions menu so I can start creating my action. So again, our action is the then. So what do we want uh, our trigger to cause? So we want to create a task in Taskit. So I'm going to choose Taskit as my application for my action. Then under events, I don't have as many options as I do on my trigger. For task eight here, I just have the option to create a new task. That's okay, that's what we need. And I click on continue. Similarly to our trigger, we are asked to now connect our task eight account to Zapier. I've already done so, so I can click on continue. And then we can specify which folder, which project, and which section we want to store these new tasks into. So for me, it's going to be the personal folder in my inbox project under the subheading from Google Calendar. If I go back to Taskate real quick, let me go back to my home screen. You can see that I've chosen the personal folder, the inbox project and the from Google Calendar subheading to store my new tasks. Let me go back to Zapier. Here on content, we can choose what do we want our task description to be. So we want our task description to be the summary of our Google Calendar event. The start date is going to be my event begins date and time, which in this case, it's, it begins at 2 p.m. It's talking about the cart maintenance event. The end date is going to be our event ends date and time. And if I want to, I can assign it to somebody in Taskade if I use Taskade to collaborate uh, with other people. But since I only use Taskade for personal reasons, then I don't need to assign this task to anybody. I'm going to click continue. And it's going to test this step. So right now, it's sending a task to Taskade. And it said a task was sent to Taskate a second ago. So if I go to Taskate, I see that the cart maintenance event um, was sent again to Taskate. Okay, so we can see that this connection is working. And to finish creating this app, I can go ahead and click on publish. So once you click on publish, you'll be taken back to your Zapier dashboard where you will see that you have now an untitled Zap created that is on and it's running. To change the name just so that we can be a little more descriptive, you can click on this arrow right here, click on the little pencil icon, and I'll just name this Google Calendar to Taskade. 
I'll exit and that has been renamed. Now let's test that our new automation is working as expected. To do that, I'm gonna go to my personal Google Calendar. I'm gonna click on here on Friday the 26th at 9 a.m. I'm gonna create a new event called Call with Lucy from 9 a.m. to let's say 10.30 a.m. Click on save. And now this automation won't be instant, so I won't see the task created. Um, oh, it actually popped up real quick. Never mind. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the task actually showed up fairly quickly, but usually I've seen it take two to three minutes, um, but you will see your new task here show up in Taskade. So one thing that I have seen when creating this automation is that the times don't always line up to what I had set on my Google Calendar for these different um, events. And that has to do with the way Google is sending the information to Taskade um, and what time zone each of those programs are using. Um, so try to take a look into that. So if these times are not aligning, um, check what time zone you have configured in your Google account and then what time zone you have configured in, in Taskade and see if that uh, fixes the issue. Obviously, you can also come in here and edit the time uh, manually if you need to and even just change the time zone and, and of that particular um, task and that should adjust the time correctly. But yeah, if you have any questions or any issues with that, let me know and I'll try to take a deeper look into it. But that's pretty much it. That's how you create an automation uh, in order to have new Google Calendar events pop up as tasks or to-do items in Taskade. Uh, and this can help you just better or, or to manage your tasks and, and your productivity systems a lot better. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and please let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments down below. And I'll see you on the next one.